As we were soberingly reminded last weekend when we tried to get a table for 14 at the last minute the evening after ReasonCon, it's prom season. And while that's a frustrating realization when you're eight blocks from your car and it's raining, it's still easy to get caught up in the nostalgia. All the fumbling attempts at romance, the diabolically timed acne, and all the wonderful slut-shaming. Ah, uh, prom. Well, it was nice to see that all the old traditions were still in full swing when a listener sent me a story about a high school in Wisconsin that's under fire from the FFRF over a few prom posters hanging in the hallways. The posters, which were sponsored by two local Christian groups, remind all the boys that Prime Night is really about protecting a girl's character by not fucking her. The patronizing bullshit underscores the message with the silhouette of a girl in a dress, made out of words like charming, classy, respect, and warm-hearted. It's not clear whether those are the qualities that make her so easy to take advantage of or the ones you're at risk of fucking out of her. But the overall message that a woman's character is defined by where your penis has been is unmistakable. In a stern letter to the school, the FFRF offered two options. The school could either remove the posters from the school walls along with an apology to the students, or they can, quote, leave up the sexist paternalistic message and accept speech from all perspectives, including other private organizations like the FFRF and students who wish to present an opposing viewpoint on the importance of chastity, end quote. Apparently, the school has chosen the first half of option one. Of course, efforts like this one only work in secular schools, which means chastity messages like the ones the students at Coloma Convent Girls School in Croydon, England received are just outside the rational world's jurisdiction. Which is a damn shame when these teenagers are getting messages like, quote, many who slept around or had sex outside of marriage have discovered that it was destroying their soul and making their body sick, end quote. And if fears of poisoned souls and righteous infliction of the fornication plague aren't irresponsible enough sex ed messages for you, they add, quote, society preaches condoms and the pill, but it puts you at risk and keeps you isolated. The only way to fulfilling sexual intimacy is saved sex, end quote. Hear that, teenage girls? The only thing worse than premarital sex is safe premarital sex. And it doesn't matter if his cock is covered in latex, as long as his heart is covered in Jesus. And in what has become something of an accidental tradition in this segment, we'll follow up the irresponsible anti-birth control message with an insane diatribe about abortion from the same group of people. This one comes to us from Texas State Representative Matt Schaefer, whose message to pregnant Texans seems to be, You better still birth that fetus, bitch. This message comes in the form of an amendment Schaefer added to a bill that had almost absolutely nothing to do with abortion. The amendment seeks to ban abortion if the fetus has a severe or irreversible abnormality. That's the actual wording of the bill. He thinks Texas is missing out on all the good genetically non-viable offspring action. When asked to justify the merciless savagery of forcing a woman to carry a fetus to term that has absolutely no chance of survival, Schaefer actually offered this excuse, quote, suffering is part of the human condition since sin entered the world, end quote. Give me 10 minutes with this asshole, a watermelon and a fucking crowbar and I'll show him some suffering and some sin entering his world too for that matter. And as has also become something of an unwitting tradition, I'll leave you with that reprehensible bullshit echoing in your brain. Sorry about that. I'd love to say I won't have a worse story next week, but I think we both know I will. So until then, I'll hand things back over to Noah and he. <laughs>